Hey guys, in this video I'll do a ROM review for the MyUI uh, ROM uh, for the Galaxy S3 and I have the AT&T version here and you can see uh, the ROM is booting up uh, a minimal uh, boot animation uh, going on for the ROM and uh, let's take a look at uh, the uh, lock screen first so you can see a Jelly Beans kind of or Android kind of lock screen which has four basic shortcuts and the home screen basically looks um, a little bit similar to that of the uh, iPhone's home screens and uh, but you do have different you know uh, home screens and um, yeah by default it comes in with four home screens you can increase the number of screens and uh, also one more thing there's no app drawer for this my UI ROM any uh, app you install just shows up on the home screen so there's no way you know you have a big list of apps showing in the uh, app drawer so one thing to keep that in mind um, um, not only this feature I've seen a bunch of features which are similar to the iPhone uh, interface so let's take a look at the notification center first so as you might have seen it's sort of is like a jelly bean notification center but here you have this notification separate and the toggle separate so in one section you have all the toggles what you need and the other section is where you have your notifications so you have uh, the uh, screen brightness also under the toggle section and um, where you can control the uh, brightness and by default um, if you don't have any notifications the toggles will show up uh, but if you do have any notifications the notifications section would pop up when you you know pull down the uh, notification area and other than that um, the ROM basically comes in with you know few utilities and uh, I'll go over uh, the utilities so one of the utilities you can see was the uh, themes app where you can download you know a bunch of themes from various my UI users online so that's one tool which comes in and you do have the modifications or sorry the modified uh, contacts which comes in uh, by default and uh, yeah, let me show you the music app, which has been quite redesigned from the uh, default Android music app, which uh, is kind of refreshing, but it, it is also, you know, good at the same time. Uh, so you have albums view, you have various different views, you also have folder view, which is kind of new. And um, yeah, let's play the song first, and let's see how it looks on the lock screen. So yeah so when you are in the lock screen and when the song is playing you can see the shortcuts the music controls on the lock screen which are quite good and when you double tap in the center it would you know give you the lock screen default lock screen and um, yeah which is pretty good uh, you can control the songs you can skip to the next song from the uh, lock screen itself overall the uh, look the interface of this my UI rom i really like it it's quite different from ios and the android um picks up few bits and pieces of both the oss and gives you a nice interface which is you know quite smooth as well and um, yeah few other apps which come in with the uh, my ui rom or like clock uh, you do have the um, you do have the uh, calculator, uh, recorder, and uh, torch, and other free apps. And you do have the compass or the magnetic compass app, uh, which comes in uh, for the iPhone by default. And um, yeah, a few basic apps which are quite good. And this is one of the best things in this OS. You do get the default notes app. Because every single time uh, I was on iPhone, I used to open up notes, but in Android, there was no such default app. Uh, you had to use the Evernote. But right now, in the My UI, you do get a notes app, which is quite fast. Unlike the Samsung Note, which is quite slow on the touch bus. So, yeah, let's see the camera. The interface is 
the stock Android camera, OSP style camera, and uh, it works good. It, it takes pictures fast. As you can see, it, it doesn't have any problem uh, whatsoever. And these are all the uh, Google default apps which come in bundled with the uh, My UI. You get the Google Voice as well. And in order to get to the Google Voice, you need to long press the menu key, which would open up the Google Voice. And um, um, what else? Yeah, you do get few other utility apps with this My UI ROM like antivirus you do have app monitor the network monitor sorry and you do have few security related apps you do. and now let's take a look at some of the uh, other settings which come in for this rom and if you go under settings you have two sections first is the common settings where you have you know f most recently or, or you know most frequently used settings and you do have the big settings uh, as you would have in the Android and uh, let's take a look at few different uh, settings which are you know especially come in for this ROM you do have these status bar settings where you can set every single thing like sections different toggles and all and you have the same sound settings uh, thing as you have for the Android uh, yeah when you go under battery you do now have an option of changing the battery indicator I also have an option of changing the LED settings, the notification LED, and uh, touch button settings, and uh, the storage. And uh, let's go into about, and let's see the about screen. So in the about screen, which is kind of different, and um, you can see the uh, OS version there. And uh, one more thing is you can and or edit the widgets from the home screen that has to be there right mm, yeah here you can control the home screens if you want another home screen you can go ahead and add them as well and uh, over at the bottom you can see uh, various different widgets which come with this uh, OS and you do get you know quite a lot um, stock widgets which come with the ROM and few other widgets which you know come in when you install different apps so yeah you do have uh, um, a place where you can add widgets so yeah overall I mean you do get every single feature whatever you want um, from Android and uh, overall the look and feel sometimes would be you know like uh, iOS but overall it's a pretty smooth ROM I would say I mean, this has been like, you know, the most visually appealing ROM for me, in my opinion. Um, it has been, you know, running without any problem. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the phone, which I really want, uh, which I'm, you know, quite impressed. Let's make a call here. And let's see how the interface looks. Uh, very minimalistic and very good as well. You have the keypad access and you do have tools where you can mute, hold record or go into contacts and uh, add a note or something so yeah which is I mean quite good uh, yeah you do have the CRT animation which I forgot to tell um, yeah uh, one more feature is like the um, task manager or the recent window thing when you hold down the home button so all you need to do to close the app is you know move up the uh, app to close it which is quite good you don't get a screenshot or something for the app which is open you just kind of get a task manager which you might have seen in the iOS so that's one other good thing about this and uh, the other quite good feature is when you plug in your charger and when you're in the lock screen you get a nice animation going uh, which is quite cool um, that's one other visual thing which made me like this ROM very much other than the other few things which I've told previously so yeah now coming to the features which doesn't work sometimes the uh, capacitive touch buttons the backlight doesn't uh, you know go off uh, so you don't get the backlight for the capacitive buttons all the times you might get it sometime but you know it's not usually um, a big problem but yeah 
so that's one thing and Facebook doesn't work at all the times it, it would hang out it would hang up um, quite a few times and uh, the other problem was with the um, the Netflix yeah the Netflix doesn't really uh, work here so the support for Netflix is quite limited right now and uh, yeah that's about that's about all the problems I had seen in this ROM and the battery life is also pretty good so yeah that's about this review if you like the video please rate and if you have any questions put it in the comments yep thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video